Hello, I haven't made a video in a few days. Uh, I made many about France and other jerseys uh, prior to that, but I thought, yeah, we were on vacation for a few days. I had some pretty busy days at work. It's time to make another one. I'm wearing Cameroon. Uh, another color that you haven't seen on me. I'm sure you haven't seen me because Cameroon was not at the World Cup, but it's not Cameroon that I want to talk about. After all those France jerseys, I at least want to talk about the one Croatia jersey that I have. This one right here. And I got this very recently during the World Cup. I always wanted to have a Croatia jersey, but I never... Either it was that I didn't like the current jersey, or sometimes, you know, I always ask my wife, do you like this? And she never liked the checkered pattern. She thinks on me it doesn't look nice. But I always liked the blue jersey, and I said, yeah, Croatia is really doing well at this World Cup. I gotta get one. And then I went on Classic Football Shirts and got this one for 20 euros. And I'm very happy about it. Uh, it is not my favorite design, but it's exactly what a Croatia jersey should be. Blue, I have to check a pattern, show up somewhere. Croatia away jersey, I gotta say. Um, this one is in so far special, not only because of the price, but this is the player version. And you can tell this on a few um, spots. First of all, I have some 2010 Nike shirts. Some? One. <laughs> I have the US shirt. Um, and the material feel of this one is completely different. This is a much more sturdy material and uh, this won't get any pulls. If you have a cat, I don't think this is, it looks much more stable for that. It is also the material on the front is kind of solid and on the back it is ventilated. You can actually see through here. Good thing we have the sun out here. So uh, front material is not as much see-through but the back is absolutely a lot of ventilation so you really can see through nicely and you can feel it while wearing that on the back it's actually um, not as stuck or you know it is actually quite nice overall. Uh, then the other thing and this is a feature that I was very interested in. It has those holes on the side, which was a thing on Nike shirts from 2010 to 2014, 16, before they came with the new um, super template style. And the holes are actually, they get, if you can see, they are getting uh, thicker towards the middle and then thin out and they are heat sealed so you have all those black dots on the inside which makes actually uh, when you run you really can feel how it's cooler here uh, quite an interesting effect then of course the checkerboards are on the sleeves and if you can see there also is a slight checkerboard pattern here on the front which is visible on the close-up but not very visible on the distance and uh, in addition, there is this, it looks like a band-aid. This was in 2010, the style. I'm not very fond of that one, but yeah, they have that. And then a similar band-aid type of thing here on the back saying Hrvatska uh, below the collar. Every Nike team back then had something like that. And then as an additional thing, and also a lot of Nike teams had this, it was also first. You have on the inside of the crest saying Uvijek, Vierni. According to my Croatian colleague, this means always believing or never give up something to that regard. As I said, it's not my absolute favorite Croatia jersey, away jersey ever. Um, I actually am quite split. I think the 2006 version had kind of this checker pattern running down here, which was nice. The 2012 one had this strike out where the checker pattern was here on the sleeves and it was blue on the sides. Um, I also like the one where the, the checker pattern is here below. So, you know, there are many nice, this is almost a little bit brute force, but this in fact is the type that Croatia chose the most. I think there are at least two other jerseys with a similar um, style uh, where you have the blue body and the checker pattern on the sleeves. So in that sense, it's nice. I really like the colors. I really like this contrast between the red and the white and the, and the blue and we know with all those red teams playing in Europe, Croatia is very often playing in the blue jersey. And as long as it's not the, this black abomination they had at this World Cup, but it's that blue, I really, really like it. Yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey, uh, whether you own some Croatia jerseys, um, which ones you like a lot. I really like to wear this one these days. 
Um, but as I said, if there's an if there could be a different Croatia jersey, I want to have a home jersey, and the one I want is the one from 2016. The one that one is fabulous. But yeah, so far I'm very happy. Finally, have a Croatia jersey. It's actually only my second Euro Eastern European nation that I own. Again, let me know what you think about this jersey, Croatia away jerseys, or Croatia jerseys in general, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.